Good day. I hope you have filled your day with blessings our God gives us to gives to us every day of our life through others. You are loved. For today's devotion, I want to look at one of the verses from Easter Sunday's Gospel that caught my attention. Actually, it's the last sentence of one verse. For me, when a sentence or a verse seems odd, out of place, or makes me think, that doesn't quite follow, then I want to dig into it to understand. Usually I find it's an idiom, a common expression that's part of conversation, and not to be taken literally, sort of like us asking, do you get the picture? When we're asking if someone understands, a real picture or photograph has nothing to do with what we are asking. That's an idiom. Well, Easter Sunday's Gospel lesson had a sentence that caught my attention. It's the last sentence of Matthew 28, verse 7. As a recap, the women have gone to the garden tomb, experienced an earthquake, found the stone not blocking the tomb entrance, and the tomb Easter empty. They see an angel. The angel asks them why they're looking for the living among the dead. Jesus has risen. The angel gives them a few more instructions and said, then says this quirky sentence, Behold, I have told you. Do you find that odd? Yes, I know the angel is talking, an angel talking to you is odd, but isn't that last sentence odd? Behold, I have told you. The angel talked to the women. Of course, the angel told them. How else would an angel communicate with them besides telling them, talking to them? It seems superfluous, doesn't it? Sort of like me asking you right now, see, I'm talking to you. Duh. But with Scripture, what seems superfluous to us usually has something else going on. So what does this sentence mean? Doing a little research where this phrase is used in other Greek literature at that time, one comes to understand that this phrase has the meaning of fulfillment. I have fulfilled my task. I have done my job. I have accomplished that for which I was sent. I was sent to relay this message and I have done it. Now it's your turn to relay the message. The angel, in communicating the surprise news of the resurrection and the instructions that Jesus would meet the disciples in Galilee, then tells the will, women to go and tell the disciples this joyous news. Yeah, the word go is kind of superfluous too. I mean, how can we, the women tell the disciples who were locked up in a house somewhere the news? They couldn't shout it from the garden. They had to go. But that's for another time when we look at Matthew 28, 19. Do you understand what the angel has started by fulfilling the task of announcing the resurrection? The angel became the first one to preach the good news of the resurrection, to witness to others Jesus' victory over the curse of sin. The angel is the start. The women are the next ones to witness the truth of the resurrection as they tell the apostles, and then the apostles tell other believers, then the other believers carry it outside of Jerusalem to Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the earth. What we have here is the beginning of the proclamation of redemption God has won for us. So what does that mean for us today? It means each of us is tasked with being a witness of this joyous news. Each of us gets to pass on what the angel told the women. He is risen. Therefore, you have life in him. What joy we get to bring this culture of death we live in. What blessings we get to share. No matter what job or employment you have, you can always be a witness and share the good news of the resurrection. 
The resurrection colors our day. It changes our attitude. It enables us to live life with no fear, which, by the way, is the first thing the angel said to the women. No fear. My prayer for you today is that you recognize and take advantage of the many opportunities God gives you to be a witness especially to those within your own household, so that one day you can look back and say about your life, Today I have told you. Let's pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise that you sent the angel to tell the women about the resurrection. May that spirit be within each of us, Lord, as we are now witnesses to the resurrection and tell others the great news that He is risen. He is alive and living among us. Help us, Lord, to be your witnesses to the ends of the earth. And I pray this in the name of our living Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless your day.